hurt my mother. You hurt my mother. Hey. These were moments when children realized that police officers had shot their parent, starting with two kids who cried nonstop after the incident. On February 4, 2021, Nevada County Sheriff's deputies were quickly deployed after receiving several reports about a woman, later identified as 33-year-old Sage Crawford, brandishing a knife. And it gets even worse as she was accompanied by her two children, prompting the officers to swiftly attempt to dispossess her of the knife. You're not in trouble or anything like that. I know what you did to my baby. I'm not gonna touch your babies, but I need you to put your knife away. Don't County hurt Officer, we're gonna have one at gunpoint. She has a knife. Don't I'm not gonna hurt, hurt your babies. babies. Hey! I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna. Everyone knows every single person, hey. every single name. If hey. happens to me and my here. babies, okay. everyone in the whole world. Hey, listen. Ah! Oh We're not. Hold on. Ah! Oh hey. Hold on. Hey. We're not talking. The woman was clearly not in her right state of mind, as evidenced by the way she wielded the knife loosely around her children and ignored reason, even when her young child intervened and begged her to stop. However, the situation was far from over yet. Back up, Zoe! Back up, Zoe! Don't you fucking get me! Put the knife down! Put the knife down! Don't you fucking give me my babies! Put the knife down! No! Put the knife down! Put the knife down. No! Hey, I need you to I don't give a fuck! She continued to charge at the officers, and the situation grew more dangerous by the second as she carelessly handled the knife, even while holding her children with the same hand. This prompted the officers to have their tasers ready in case they needed them, but the situation further worsened, and even the tasers couldn't cut it. At that moment, the children ran to their dying mother, not caring about what the officers might do, as their mother had been shot repeatedly. However, the officers quickly took control of the scene. Back up! Take a breather! Hey! I gave. It was ineffective. She charged. Everyone knows your face. Did you shoot or not? She shot. He shot. I did not shoot. Don't you lie. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Scared. They're not scared. The children were taken to safety, with a passerby keeping watch over them while the officers secured the scene. Sage Crawford, their mother, who was later found to have been suffering from mental illness since her husband's death years earlier, died from the gunshot wounds. The officer who shot her faced no charges, as the prosecutor's office deemed his actions justifiable, and the children were reunited with their extended family, who assumed guardianship. The next child experienced the shock of his life when his mother was accidentally shot by a police officer. You shoot her? Did I? Oh my god. Oh my god. On January 6, 2015, Burlington Police Officer Hill was quickly dispatched in response to a public disturbance call. Upon arrival, he noticed a woman, later identified as 34-year-old Autumn Steele, attacking her husband, who was holding their young child. As the officer intervened, something unbelievable and tragic occurred. Hey! Hey, stop it! Got my kid! Get your dog! <laughs> The family dog attacked the officer as he tried to intervene, prompting the officer to shoot. However, the bullet did not only strike the dog, as you'll soon discover. She shot you? You shoot her? Did I? Oh my god. Oh my god. 38 shots fired. Go, Timmy! You did shot I, her! Did I? Did I really? You shot her! Oh my god. Get your dog. Where are you shot, ma'am? Get an ambulance. The child was crying profusely in the background as it became clear that the officer's bullet had struck the mother as well. Once this was confirmed, the child's father quickly took him away from the scene while the officer began life saving procedures on the woman. Hi, Tim. Dog attacked me. I pulled my gun and shot it and I hit her. I don't know. Shit, Tim. I'm fucking going to prison, Tim. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. It was an accident. It was. Sir, just wait. Let me know. Oh my god. We don't know yet. Let me take a look for a seat. Yes, go ahead. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. That's alright. Just oh come down. God. Don't sit in the car, alright? Oh my fucking god. Autumn Steele, the woman who was shot, was rushed to the hospital where she later passed away. The incident received widespread media coverage, with many calling for the officer's prosecution. However, the county attorney declined to press charges, clearing the officer of any wrongdoing. While the previous cases involved children, observe how this man-child reacts after a police officer shoots his mother. You fucking hurt my mother! You fucking hurt my mother! On October 20th, 2019, a Greenville County Sheriff's deputy tracked a 40-year-old shoplifter, Sean Theodore Kaiser, to his home after recognizing him on the store's CCTV footage. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Hey, where are you going? Hey, 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 hey. No, you're not. Hey, hey, listen. Please don't, please, please don't do that. You don't run away from me. sexually abused. And this I, is nothing they, sexual. Do not leave me again. Do you understand? Don't grab me. Do not run away do from me. Do not grab me. You want me to arrest you right here and right now? I don't give a fuck what you do. Okay. Do not grab me. Do not walk away from me or I will put hands I on you. I will respect you and I will talk to you. Okay, don't walk away from me. Don't fucking grab me. That I can't guarantee. Don't fucking hey, grab hey, me. Hey, 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 Don't you talk to her like that. I will talk to her no, anywhere you will I want. Not. Calm down. Just I'm here to read you. Do not grab me She's like that. She's trying to help you. Listen, if you walk away from me, I have every right to lay hands on you. Do not walk away from me again. I don't give again. a fuck what no, your no, right no. is. Stop, Sean, don't. Stop. I don't give a fuck what your right is. The from the look of things so far, the suspect's body build is far bigger than that of the female officer, making this arrest very tricky without backup, especially since the suspect is uncooperative. Although the suspect's mother, who had intervened, pleaded with the officer on behalf of her clearly intoxicated son. Her efforts were in vain as the suspect became increasingly agitated each time the officer attempted to make the arrest. I'm placing you under listen, arrest. Listen to me. No. Are you, are you, are you going to be mean? Or you can do this nice? I'm asking you to do I'm this asking nice. you to put your hands behind your back. I'm asking you to do this nice. Get out of the way! Get I'm out asking the way. you to do this nice. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm asking you to do this hey, nice. Let go of me! Oh. Let go of me! I am stronger than I you. Let go. let go of me! I can do whatever Sean. I fucking let want. Let go of me! Sean, stop it! Sean, stop it! God in heaven, stop it! Stop it! it. Hey! Look at me. Look at me. Stop. Stop. Look at me. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. I'm asking you. The officer was physically no match for the suspect, who overpowered her effortlessly, even while still intoxicated. This situation prompted the officer to draw her firearm to enforce the arrest. A very risky decision, to say the least. You back up! Put your hands down! You want to shoot me? You fucking shoot me. Put your hands down. Do not tell me what to do. I know. Can you leave? No! Back up! Back up! Chon, Chon. You don't no! Chon, my no! Mom, my fucking house. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my You fucking hurt my mother! You fucking hurt my mother! No! No! Don't hurt my mother! Back up! You don't hurt my mother! Unfortunately, the officer accidentally shot the mother while trying to subdue the suspect with her firearm, and the situation worsened as the suspect overpowered her once more. However, backup arrived soon after to assist the officer. <laughs> Fuck up, motherfucker! Hey, hey, put your fucking hands up! You wanna punch me, motherfucker? <laughs> Are you alright? Are you okay? I'm not shot. 
Hey, tell him I'm with you. The suspect was eventually arrested and charged with multiple counts of assault. The suspect's mother, Diane Morose, survived the gunshot after undergoing more than 15 surgeries and later filed a federal lawsuit against the sheriff's office. This man was responsible for his mother getting shot. But watch how this next kid reacted when his guardian was shot by a police officer. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. I got you. I'll get it. I got it. I'll get it. It was this kid's birthday, but it quickly turned traumatic for him when Buffalo Police Department officers in Erie County, New York, pulled over 25-year-old Devon Roberts for driving at excessive speed with tinted windows. The situation worsened when the officers even discovered that his six-year-old cousin was seated in the front passenger seat without a seatbelt. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Can you just roll back windows down for me, man? Yes, sir. Thanks, man. It's a little too dark. Oh, man. Little guy, you gotta be sitting in the back. Nephew? Yeah, that's my nephew. Whose birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday was a couple days. Nice. Happy late birthday. Uh, you want to get pulled over? No. You want some of my license? Please. Whose car, whose car is this? This is my uh, sister's car. Okay. There's no registration. For real? Yeah. Oh, well, the registration looks like it's expired. Uh, let me find her. Maybe not, actually. No, it's not. You're oh. good. It's not. But um, I'm about to say. We just pulled you over. He goes, we're high rate of speed, man. I want to see the kid get hurt. And your tints are illegal, okay? Okay, well, this is my sister. Who's your? Yeah, I understand that. Uh, just spray speed as well. You got your lights on you? Nah, I don't. I got a uh, screenshot of it. Though. The suspect had a long list of offenses, but the officers were initially inclined to let him go. However, they decided to at least check his license to confirm if he was eligible to drive. The suspect showed the officer a picture of a license on his phone, claiming it was from Georgia. However, upon checking, the officer found this to be false, as there was no license on record for the driver in either Georgia or New York, where he had been pulled over. When the officer confronted him about this, something unbelievable and tragic occurred. Oh right, man, it's saying you don't have a license uh, in either state. I have, sir, I don't, I don't know. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take some out and come towards me. We're going to try and run your name a different way and see if I can find it pop up some other way. Okay, for sure. You can put the phone down there. You're going to kill me, bro. The suspect's dangerous actions led to the officer shooting him multiple times, causing both of them to fall from the car, which was traveling at 60 miles per hour. While the officer was clearly injured, his primary concern immediately became the fact that the car, still in motion, had a six-year-old child inside who was unbuckled. Oh, shots fired! Shots fired! There's a kid in the car still! He tried killing me! Shots fired! Come here, come here, come here, come here, baby, come here. I got you, I'll get it. I got it, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get you, okay? Yeah. Okay, you're okay. My phone. You're okay. My phone. My phone. Stay right here for a second. Can you get my phone? Radio Rush AMR to Wyoming, catch it. The officer managed to rescue the child, who endured an incredibly difficult ordeal. The child was safely returned to his mother, whom he had been intended to be dropped off with. The officer faced no charges, as his actions were deemed justifiable. In this next case, the boy couldn't bear to watch as his father was being tased by the police. This is 31-year-old Ivan Okri, an irresponsible father as you will soon see for yourselves. On June 15, 2019, Tempe Police Department officers arrived at his residence after his wife reported domestic violence issues. Upon their arrival, he was immediately resistant. Hey, what's happening, man? Nothing. Okay, well, that's not what I'm being told, so... My house. I don't care if it's your house or not. Put your hands behind your back. Come here. Hey, come here. Bro, you're not allowed in here. Put your fucking hands behind your back. Oh, you're not allowed in here. Bro, you taste. You want to taste the phone? Put your hands behind your back, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. Okay? Listen to me. 
Put your hands on top of your head. Do it now. Put your hands on top of your head. This irresponsible father used his crying children as an excuse to avoid surrendering and getting arrested. As the officers continued to order him to surrender, the opportunistic father, seeing his one-year-old walking towards him, did something even more irresponsible. Put your hand on top of your head. Pretending to be a caring parent, he quickly picked up his child and immediately used her as a human shield. Recognizing the depth of this man's recklessness, another officer quickly removed the other two children from the room. Once they were safe, the focus shifted back to the irresponsible father. Put the child down now. Put the child down now. You hear her? Get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Put the child down. Although his wife claimed everything was fine and used that as an excuse for him to avoid consequences, the officer remained unyielding. The final straw came when he refused to hand the child over to his wife, clearly showing the child is being used as a shield, prompting an action from the cops, which was inevitable at this point. The child was swiftly removed from his grasp and taken to safety. As he continued to resist, he was subdued with a taser. The suspect was arrested and taken to jail, where he later bonded out. The next case is the most tragic as the daughters witnessed their mother being shot right before their eyes. On April 16th, 2022, a Las Cruces police officer in Arizona was dispatched after family members reported that their 75-year-old grandmother, who had dementia, was experiencing a mental breakdown, a common occurrence for patients with the illness. However, upon arrival, the officer failed to offer any assistance and instead made the situation worse. Police department, can you guys step out for me? Please be very careful. Set it down! No, no, no. Set it down now! Back up! No, no, Back up! Drop the knife! No, no, no! Drop the knife! No, no! Okay, back up! Back up now! Drop the knife! Drop the fucking knife! Drop the knife! Do it now! Drop the fucking knife! Drop the fucking knife! Do it now! Drop the fucking knife! Drop the knife! Do it now! Put him on the ground! The officer escalated the situation to unprecedented levels within seconds, clearly demonstrating a lack of basic knowledge in handling individuals with mental conditions. He pointed his gun at the 75-year-old woman, perceiving her as a significant threat, despite her being armed only with a knife. The situation took a further turn for the worse, when the officer ultimately did the unthinkable. Put him on the ground! Put it down now! Put it down! I'm good. Let me get we, we need to put her in cuffs and I need to check on them. Okay. We need to check in 827. We got one knife right here. We got another one. I don't know where the second knife is. Her hands are clear. Pull her out. 
Pull her out. The officer shot the woman twice in the chest, causing the children, who had earlier warned him to be careful, to burst into tears as he did the exact opposite. Other officers who arrived immediately attempted life-saving measures on the woman, while the officer who fired the shots conducted a sweep of the house. As he came out, it was clear that the woman's children were clearly unhappy with him. I told him he was mentally ill. Did you shoot my mom? Did you shoot my mom? Sadly, the 75-year-old woman, Amelia Baca, died from her wounds. The district attorney did not charge the officer, and to make matters worse, he returned to work just two months later, which infuriated the family of the woman he had shot. The family subsequently filed a lawsuit against the city, and a settlement of $3 million was later reached between both parties. If you enjoy videos like this, please like, subscribe, and watch this one.